Hey guys, um, last time we uh, tore down an Intex uh, sand filter pool pump uh, down to the uh, the motor. Um, after I've taken a closer look at it, it's pretty clear that there's uh, a bad bearing in there somewhere. So uh, I actually uh, went ahead and pulled the motor off uh, and you know, take it apart. Um, went ahead and did that, got all the screws out of it, and figured out how it came apart for you guys so we can do it real quick here on video. But Basically, this is where we got to last time. Um, if you want to find out how to get to this point, take a look for my other video, the uh, the Intex pull pump teardown, and uh, and we'll get you to here. All right. So what you need to do, there's a uh, actually this fan will be sitting up closer to the body of the motor, but there's a, a snap ring on there, real small one. Um, uh, actually, that sit right there. I don't know if you can see that, but take him off and a little tapping. Uh, we'll get the fan off. All right. There are four bolts that run through the frame of the motor. Uh, sit right there, so they're here, here, and here. All right. You take those out. Phillips head on one end, and a uh, little bolt on the other. Four bolts hold the frame down to the, uh, the little plastic stand, and then the whole thing can just uh, come loose like that. We'll set the stand over here out of the way. Okay. And once you get all that loose. Uh, the end pieces will pop off. All right. If any pieces fall out from your bearings, make sure you keep those. There's a little rubber cup and a couple of uh, springs that ride on this rear bearing here. Uh, I've got them set to the side. But as you can see, um, once that's loose, you can pull that, uh, that other cage piece just comes right off. And the, uh, the squirrel cage rotor or armature, whatever you want to call it, slides right out. Okay, and on that, you got your two bearings here. Uh, I've already cleaned them up a little bit, but that front bearing was just downright nasty. There was black crud. Uh, looked like it had chewed itself up and spit everything out on the inside, and it will not spin at all. Uh, this rear bearing uh, looks great, real smooth. I went ahead and ordered two of these. Uh, they're actually 6,000 RZ bearings. 6,000 RZ. 6000 Romeo uh, Zulu. Uh, you can order them on Amazon. Uh, they're $4.98 a piece prime uh, from one supplier and you'll get, uh, I've got a press on the way, uh, a little gear puller uh, to go ahead and pull these things off um, and uh, we'll use a little piece of black iron pipe uh, to knock them back on there uh, once we get them replaced. So, anyway, that's the problem, that's the culprits, that little front bearing right there chewed itself all to pieces. The uh, motor comes right apart and uh, good luck uh, Taking yours down, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thanks.